Welcome to the WHHI Daily News. I'm Robin Zimmerman. Let's begin with today's news headlines. Five low country drug dealers are off the streets after a months long investigation by the Beaufort County Sheriff's Office and the Bluffton Police in the area of Martha Brown Circle and Goth Road in Bluffton. 33-year-old Stuart Lipinski of Bluffton, 39-year-old Zachary Bozzetto of Bluffton, 52-year-old Christopher Sparks of Bluffton, 52-year-old Danelle Mitchell of Bluffton, and 66-year-old Jesus Mike Rosario of Hilton Head all face drug possession and distribution or manufacturing charges. Well, cleanup continues throughout Beaufort County from the weekend storms we told you about yesterday about the falling tree on the pavilion at Dubois Park in Old Town Bluffton. Well, quick action by cleanup crews have the tree cut already and the playground has been reopened. But it still might be a while before the pavilion is opened. Now, there were also damage, it was also damage uh, on, from hail at Hunting Island State Park and golf ball size hail on Fripp Island. The highest measured wind speeds at Marine Corps Air Station Buford were gusts of nearly 70 miles an hour. Well, the controversy over the new Defusky ferry system could be coming to a head soon now that business owners say they're struggling just to make ends meet because of falling visitor counts they say have been brought about by the lower level of service from the Low Country Ferry Service. Now, the number of businesses told WSAV in a report that reductions in foot traffic and spending of 80 percent or more this spring over the last. Well, the South Carolina Supreme Court, which is already the only all-male state Supreme Court in the country could become a bit more diverse. The three finalists for the Supreme Court to replace retiring black justice Don Beatty include two women, one of them black and one white male, 46-year-old Blake Hewitt, the youngest of the trio of finalists. Now, Jocelyn Newman, the daughter of Murdoch judge, Clifton Newman is a circuit court judge in Richland County. And the third candidate is Letitia Verdon, which has, and she has a wide range of experience from serving as a prosecutor to time as a family court judge and on the state court of appeals. And the new Supreme Court judge will be voted on by the state legislature on June 5th. And finally, well, looking for a name for your soon-to-be newborn baby or a friend's baby or a relative's baby? Well, the most popular names in South Carolina in 2023 were Noah for boys and Olivia for girls. Now, according to the Social Security card applications, Liam was the number one boy's name nationwide with Noah second, while Olivia was also the most popular baby name for a girl nationwide. And for the last five years, Noah was third in 2023 following William followed by James, John, and Elijah, and the top half dozen girls' names statewide last year ranked from Olivia, Charlotte, and Amelia to Emma, Ava, and Elizabeth. For more information on these stories and many more, please check out the media sources listed on your screen. And remember to follow us on Facebook and check us out on YouTube and go to our website at whhitv.com. And you can email us at news at whhitv.com if you have a news tip or a story idea. Well, this weather has been beautiful. Maria, will it continue? Give us the forecast. Thanks, Robin. Yep, so taking a look ahead, we still have plenty of sunshine in our forecast for the rest of this week, and the temperatures are gonna be getting back up into the 90s by the end of the week. So taking a look at Wednesday, it's gonna be partly cloudy with Hillnet having a high of 80, a low of 69, Bluffton's have a high of 83, a low of 66, and Buford's have a high of 84 and a low of 66. The sunrise for Wednesday is to be at 620 and sunsets be at 818. Taking a look at the tides, high tides will be at 9.05 a.m. and low tides will be at 4.17 p.m. Taking a look into the rest of the week, Thursday it's going to be sunny with highs in the mid-80s, lows in the 70s. Friday it's going to be sunny to partly cloudy with highs in the upper 80s, lows in the 70s. And then come Saturday it's going to be sunny again with highs in the 90s and lows in the 70s. That's it for today. Let's head back to the desk. Coming up after the break, Heather Rath will join us with all of the political news. Stay tuned.